Good morning. <clears throat> this is Michelle with Focus on Fabulous, and today is the final day of our five-day Tell Your Story Challenge with Morelli. And today's um, topic is tell who you are, something unique about you, that kind of stuff. And I've been thinking about it all morning. You know, who am I? And truly, I did not know who I was until my early 50s so just for a couple years <laughs> um, I've always been somebody's sister daughter mother aunt granddaughter wife something I've always um, had my identity through somebody else even you know when I left home and I was single I was somebody's girlfriend somebody's boss somebody's employee and so to define who I was was always very difficult. And when I first got divorced, I really struggled with, okay, who am I? You know, I used to be this free spirit, hippie kind of girl. And now I'm this, you know, overweight, unattractive, damaged goods person that who would want? And so it took a while for me to come into my own and realize that I do have value and I do have worth. And it wasn't necessarily anything specific. It was just a lot of time alone, a lot of soul searching. And I realized that I'm pretty cool. I'm a pretty cool chick. And, um, and I'm okay with who I am. I'm not perfect. My body sure isn't perfect. My moods are whoo -hoo sometimes. And you know, but I am me. I'm quirky. I'm corny. I'm funny. I'm fun to be around. I'm loyal. I'm dependable. I'm a lot of, I'm a lot of things. I'm also moody and emotional and oversensitive and needy sometimes. But somewhere out there, there's somebody that would appreciate all of those pros and cons about me. And in that searching for self, I have finally come to a point in my life where I am okay with who I am. I'm okay in my own skin. And now at 56, it's about dang time. <laughs> so I am, I, I am an artist. I, I mean, if you want to put titles on things, yes, I'm an artist. I'm an author. I'm a writer. I'm a boss woman. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a minister, I'm a notary, I'm I'm an award-winning photographer, I'm a self-published and globally published author. I'm a lot of things. Um, and truly, I can accredit any of those things to any number of scenarios, situations, people, influences. But truly, even with all that impact, if I didn't choose myself, to embrace who I am, flaws and all, good and bad, then I would probably be a mess because the life that I came from was not the, the most wonderful life. Yes, there was good. Yes, there was bad. Everybody's life is like that. But I'm pretty okay with who I am today. And it took me 50 something years to get there. So when I say, who am I? I... I'm a lot of things. I'm multifaceted, multi-talented, corny, quirky. Um, but I can truly say that when you're with me, you're going to be encouraged, motivated, um, inspired, loved, cared about, and, and know that you're cared about. And even if you, even if for some reason you don't like me or you don't care about me I'm okay with that because I once heard a quote that says you can be the juiciest peach in Georgia and some people just don't like peaches and for so long I tried to be all things to everybody and please everybody and I realized that some people just don't like peaches so today as I'm saying who am I I'm just a lot of things so just spin the wheel see where it stops and that's probably me and um I'm sure you'll see a lot of me dribbled throughout the magazine. It is my heart, my love, my personality, um, and my mission in life and my ministry is to 
bring that out of my readers and my writers so that they can embrace who they truly are too. And so today, I'd love to hear who you are and what you do and why you do it. And I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous weekend.